When it was nearly Shavuot, Reb Nachman learned that one of his followers had died. That man had been expected to join them for Shavuot. Reb Nachman reported that although he had died, the man still continued to make preparations to join them. He has hired a coach, packed his clothes, and now he has a brewing pan in his hand and he's hurrying to buy barley so that he can brew some schnapps to bring us. He's getting worn out from all these activities. After the holiday was over, Reb Nachman's Hasidim asked about the man who had died. Reb Nachman replied, didn't you see him? In fact, he was here with us for Shavuot. Did he get that one? <laughs> Here is a, one of my absolute favorites. It's uh, just so beautiful. A tiny story called The Angel of Losses. Rabbi Nachman is extremely creative. And on many occasions, he simply made up the names of creatures, uh, angels, and others. And this is one of those type of stories. There is an angel who watches over people, even in the dark. This is Yodea, the angel of losses. He watches lives unfold, recording every detail before it fades. This angel has servants, and his servants have servants. Some of these servants are angels, and some are not. Each of the angels carries a shovel and they spend all their time digging, searching for losses, for a great deal is lost in our lives. Every tzaddik is a servant of the angel Yodea. For even a tzaddik who searches after lost things is himself sometimes lost. Then it is necessary to search in the dark in the realm of the unknown. And with what do you search in the darkness? With the light of the soul. For the soul is a light planted in the tzaddik to seek after whatever has been lost. What kind of light is it? Not a torch, but a small candle. Yet even so, with it you can search inside deep wells where darkness is unbroken, peering at every corner and crevice. It is necessary to be guided by that light, small though it may be. Did you get that one? <laughs> um, all right. Uh,